everyone! Welcome back to the Geek Felution Omnibus. It's Omnibus number 22. I'm Captain Logan. I'm Eric. And Eric and I have all kinds of stuff, as always, to talk about uh, for you tonight. We are featuring uh, some major new films. We're going to talk about The Lego Movie 2 tonight. We're going to talk about Alita Battle Angel, which I'm really excited Which I am going to mispronounce into. every single time. Uh, I'm going to call it Battle Angel Alita. Because that's what the comic is called, and that's what I've called it for 10 years. Oh, okay, fair and enough. And I keep catching yeah. myself on that. Like, I keep telling people, you should go see Battle Angel Alita. And I'm like, Alita Battle Angel. How do you feel about that? Like, do you not like that they switched it? Or it's it's kind of a, understandable from a marketing standpoint. It's right? a fine way to be able to have a different subtitle. Every, like, I guarantee you the next one will oh, not be Alita Battle Angel. It'll be Alita something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can't complain about the whole, like, having to have a, a, a header over your, you know, yeah, I got, the title I have, for movies. I have no problem with, with every movie being Alita. Yeah, well, something. well, obviously, like all the Harry Potter books were called Harry Potter and the whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah. no, 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 and no so I like that, that gives you a header in the first place. I like Indiana Jones and the, and the Temple Doom. My my issue is Hunger Games, and the next movie is Hunger Games Catching Fire, and like <laughs> like that's dumb. Yeah. Like the uh, Twilight, Twilight Breaking Dawn. Like I hate the first book when then it becomes a series, and then the entire series is just named after the first thing. I it's don't like especially that. dumb when like Fantastic Beasts it gets away from the initial premise in the first place. So you're still using that for brand recognition. No, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I hadn't thought of that, where it's like Alita, it's got a colon, everything after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, I have no problem with that. Um, so I'm excited to talk about that. Uh, what else are we talking about tonight, Eric? Uh, we're going to do some more Ultimate Spider-Man, bringing that back. Yep. Uh, we're going to chat about uh, more Bendis Daredevil. I mean, really, a lot of just uh, follow-ups from things that we've done before that we haven't gotten back into the series of. And, well, we only uh, missed one for Spider-Man just because we had Crisis. Yes, yes. Uh, but we're getting back to that. we get to talk about Venom. And then uh, we've got... Uh, Spencer Spider-Man. We're going to talk a little bit about the uh, first arc of... It's weird, though, because the trade basically collects the first five issues and then the first issue of the next arc, and, like, it's it's related, but it's a little bit strange. For what? For, for Spider-Man. For Amazing Spider-Man. For no, it doesn't. Spencer's blog. Um, the trade only goes to five. I looked it up, and it said it went to six. No, it got, well, the, So the, if it doesn't, you then six? Amazon lied to me. No, I Amazon lied to you, because it ends with... I did read six. Um, it ends with them getting, like, re-put together. Uh, like oh, it's, it's, yeah, it okay. Like it's, that's what it should be. I thought that was really strange, but that's what I read. Does it have zero? It's got zero. Okay. So it's got the free comic we did in the one through five. That might be... So I haven't read six. Well, I was going to say that might be what Amazon was confused about, mm. but it mentioned zero. Interesting. It said O to six, so I just assumed that, that... And I was like, I don't know why you would collect it like that. Interesting. Um, but I didn't go look at yours, so yeah. anyway. Uh, and I am finally going to talk a little bit about the new season of Star Trek Discovery. I missed that last time. We've got five episodes now. I've watched Disco? them all. Disco. Yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about Disco. Or STD. And, uh, yeah, you you be the judge. You decide. Yeah. And uh, our Bond movie for today is going to be Moonraker. We're which Moonraker. I watched along with Eric and had an absolutely <laughs> wonderful time uh, watching watching that film. So, uh, anyway, that is those are the big features for this evening. Uh, we're going to do something really unusual for our intro tonight. We're going to let uh, Eric do a little bit of reviewing right out of the gate. Uh, you can get your, your, your reviewing palette wetted, Eric, sure. uh, right away before we even get to uh, fan art and new acquisitions and all of the stuff that we do toward the beginning of the Omnibus. Uh, Eric has been playing uh, PS4 Spider-Man. He is late to the party on this. And uh, I made two whole videos, uh, one of them all by myself, talking about this game. Because uh, if you'll remember, the first time around, I was trying to not spoil stuff for you. Mm -hmm. And people complained and were really disappointed that I didn't talk story stuff. So then I made another like 40-minute video talking story. And uh, But Eric has finally gotten around to playing some of this game. And you are what percentage? Like 35. Now? Cool. 35, yeah. So Eric's not through the story, so I'm still not spoiling things, but there's, although you probably have heard stuff. I know Doc Ock's By now, now. yeah, sure. Which is not a big surprise or anything. Um, I know. mean, at the beginning, you don't necessarily expect that. But yeah, I, I've heard a number of people say that they thought it was going to be a Green Goblin story, and that's a, the Doc Ock story. Oh, interesting. By the way, I started to predict it. This is this is not, not exactly neither here or there, but if we include this, and this isn't canon, boy, just everyone's been mayor of New York. That's true. Norman Osborn, Wilson Fisk, <laughs> uh, J. J. Jameson. Um, there's someone else major that's been mayor of New York. I can't think who it is. I mean, the Kingpin now. Oh, well, you said, yeah, you said Wilson Fisk. There's another yeah. big one from like the mid 2000s to, to, to now. I can't think of it either. But there's another yeah. big New Yorker. Like, just everyone's been mayor of New York at some point. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if someday we do it with Matt Murdock. 
That just seems like an obvious thing that to does, do. That does seem like a thing we could do. I mean, we've talked about it, him doing politics before, and he always talks about you know why he won't well, do that. But I you're not there yet, that. but we, we will visit that. In, uh, oh, really? In Bendis? Yeah, the, the, the Democrats want him to represent them. I didn't know that. Yes. Interesting. Oh, so I bet at some point that will happen. Yeah. Like, he's run, he's run the hand, and he's called himself the kingpin. He's going to, at some point, yeah. Uh, yeah. be the mayor. But anyway, so uh, I just want to hear Eric talk a little bit about uh, his experience playing this game, because uh, Eric has kind of a unique uh, perspective in that he, I mean, people think I'm not a gamer. Eric's really not a gamer. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Um, and video games more than anything, I really need the hype to die down. Like, I have that with some things. Where, yeah. like, I just, like, I, like, Spider-Man came out and it's, it's the most amazing thing ever. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait till, till this dies down because for me, it's not gonna be because I'm just not a gamer. Uh, so, like, I need, I need to wait on that. Like, it was years before I started playing Arkham. The only reason I don't finish Arkham is because uh, my, my, my uh, 360 Red Ranked. Um, but, like, I, I made it a bit into Arkham. Um, uh, but that was, I think City was out by then. Um, I just, it's hard for me to get motivated to, like, like, like I started playing this because I was in a Spider-Man mood. Like, not a video game mood, just like, Spider I was like, oh, I'll play Spider-Man. Um, so... The biggest criticism, I'm going to start with my biggest criticism, which is, the biggest problem I have with this game is I've played other Spider-Man games, yeah. and I, f where I am now, I'm finally able to do all the things I thought I could do in the first place, that most Spider-Man games you just open with. So, like, I die a lot because I'm trying to, like, shoot people in my webbing and pull them to me, and things like that that I, you just can't do yet. You have to, like, get to the skill tree thing. So, I, I get that that's how a lot of games are built, yeah, and it's it's pretty clearly based on Arkham mechanics to some degree, and Arkham but, does that. But like some of that stuff, like 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 if you played the PS2 Spider, like even the first PS2 Spider-Man game for the first Raimi movie, a lot of that stuff, it had a, it didn't have a skill tree, but you unlocked abilities. But like a lot of the stuff I was trying to do are are things that I think are basic Spider-Man mechanics. Webbing someone and pulling them to you, I think, is a thing you should just be able to do. And honestly, I think in a story-driven game, it's kind of strange if there's not a story explanation for things like that. Like why? is th this character who, story-wise, already has these abilities. Why don't I have them yet? And, like, I get working up to them and stuff, but that's where I'm always talking about this. That's where the story and the game mechanics are a little bit at loggerheads. Well, and Arkham Asylum had a good explanation for it. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. like... Like, like he, is, he doesn't have all his gadgets with him, so it's only have to get dropped. It makes him. sense with gadgets, mm -hmm. but I think he still has that with, especially in City. I mean, he, but he's still got it with, like, uh, fisticuffs. I think for me this needs the uh, the like Metroid thing where like at the beginning of every Metroid game Samus is fully armored and then there's a plot reason for her to lose all of her armor and have to recollect go get it. it all? Yeah. I needed like I'm using old web shooters because the new ones aren't finished yet or something like we're like I needed a reason for why I can't do the things I sh think I should be able to do because I can do them in other Spider-Man games. Yeah. Um, then. Beyond that, um, you have to forget everything you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, I'm, I mean the web slinging is the best I've ever I've, I've ever experienced the web slinging. Um, almost too good in that, like, I hate, like, I get high, and then no buildings are anywhere near where I am, and I'm like, I guess I'm gonna fall for a while, because I can't whip, I can't shoot anything. Um, it makes me realize that, like, I would suck as Spider-Man, because, like, I don't know, like, you have to really navigate that. Um, and, like, Spider-Man 2 has that also, but this even more so, because there's so much more city, and, like, I got really good at, f at, uh, at grabbing trees. Yeah, yeah. And, and it feels... Because when you get in the park, when you get in between, uh, you know, the two big city sections, mm -hmm. there's there's no there's nothing to grab onto. And it feels natural the way the city is built. Like, I never think it's just that way to, like, annoy me. But, like, I'm in a part of the city that has all high buildings, and all of a sudden it's a, it's a, it's a lower part of the city. And I just have to readjust, and that feels realistic for how cities are built. And probably how... I'm interested to know how accurate it is to, to New York. Like, as I'm playing, I'm like, so when I finish this, will I have a good idea of what, how New York's laid out? I actually made a Facebook post about it, and people said, yeah, it's not quite accurate. Okay. Especially because there are so many made-up buildings. Yes. That, you know, it, it can't be, which is one of my favorite things about it. Well, and that's something that I really enjoyed with the... Uh, have you found Jessica Jones' place yet? I, uh, I think so. I, I found Josie's. Yeah, I found um, Josie's, uh, I found... I'm not sure if I found Alias Investigations. Yeah, I found Alias I Investigations, took a, took a picture of that. Uh, but, so, so one of the things I thought was really cool was, so, like, you, you get the points for going around, like, like taking pictures of things, and I was like, so I'm just gonna, like... Because, like, the first couple I did were, like, the, the, the bridge, uh, and, like, the Empire State Building. I was like, 
I guess I'm going to learn the landmarks of New York. And then I was like, oh, wait, there's a Sanctum Sanctorum. I'm like, there's Josie's. Oh, it's cool. Sometimes they're important or like comic book important. That's cool. Uh, it's like, here's all the, the world building stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I really liked all that. Um, and obviously Osborne's Tower. I right? think they've got a good, a mostly good uh, knack for Spider-Man dialogue. Um, every once in a while, I'm like, I don't know if that's a Spider-Man thing. But like, for the most part, uh, the, the, the joke repetition isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I've... Uh, like, I played the, uh, the, one of the Army of Darkness games, or Evil Dead games, and, uh, if you get stuck, you will hear the same four one-liners over and over. I, I hear a little bit, but not, not, not where I'm annoyed. Yeah, but it mostly happens if you die and you have to repeat yeah, sections. Yeah, Because there are very specific quips for particular scenes, mm. and even... Like, like we, it doesn't even repeat a whole lot with, like, the Fisk bases and things like that. Like, you'll have specific ones for specific bases, I think. Um, I've murdered a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, where, like, I'm fighting, on, I'm fighting on a roof, and, like, I just do, like, an aerial web sling, and that guy just goes off the side of the building, and he's just gone. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, my Spider-Man's a murderer. Um, I, I think the combat's well, really... Well, not only, not only that, but there are missions where you have to do that. Oh, interesting. <laughs> where it's like, yeah, fling five guys off a roof. Um, I think the... Uh, so, one, one of the reasons... Because I, I intend to just play through the story. Um, I am... I do tend to be a grinder in video games. And so when I got to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to get some of the, some of the abilities that I, I need to be able to have to be able to play this game. So I just started going around doing stuff. But even when I wasn't doing that, I'm like, okay, I have to go over here. But there's a backpack right over there. And there's a landmark right over there. And, oh, there's a crime happening. I'll stop that crime. And so, like, I'm not as far as maybe I would have been because I keep getting distracted by doing all the side stuff, which is, which is great. But and it's also a testament to the game that you're enjoying doing that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I, and I want to go was, do it. That was the experience I had, too. I think I was, like, 65% through before I got to, like, the second or third major plot point. The, like, I, like I, I wasn't even doing the story. Like, if you go back to the, the, to the omnibus where uh, I reviewed it the first time, like, I wasn't very far on the story. The, the weirdest... Thing but I already had all the backpack tokens, and I had all the... Uh, I think I was already on the black, tack, the black hat tokens. and I uh, She's shown up, um, but I haven't found any yet. Okay. The weirdest thing that I had was, was I landed on a roof, and uh, to get like a backpack token, or, like one of the science tokens, or something like that, like, I landed on a roof to do that, and then all of a sudden I'm being shot at because there's like muggers on the building next to me, yep. and I can't get the thing that I'm trying to get until I go stop them, and I was like... I wasn't even... If you guys hadn't done anything, I wouldn't even have known you were there and I wouldn't have stopped you. This is on you. You guys, you guys would have been fine. You wouldn't have gone to prison, nothing. Um, do you have the thing I do where, it, like, and again, testament to the game, like, I, I'm feeling enough like Spider-Man that when crimes happen, I have a hard time not stopping them because I'm Spider-Man and I'm supposed to be responsible and to stop crimes. Yeah, but then... So, like... Much like throwing people off the side of a building, there are a couple of things I think break the reality of a universe because it's a video game. Well, I, yeah. I have to go see Aunt May. Um, like, it's imperative I'm here at this time, and I'm not penalized for taking three hours to get there. Yep. Um, I, there's no way around that. Yeah. Uh, One of the worst culprits I've played with that is, is Arkham City, because you've got, like, a ten-hour deadline for something... And uh, you're doing all this other. You're like, I've been, I've been doing the side missions for significantly more than ten. And also, I couldn't possibly accomplish all of this in one night. Mm. Um, but the Spider-Man side missions uh, aren't as complex and time-consuming, so you kind of buy more that you could do them in the yeah, however long and, the game. Until I got to the science things, none of them are like, like a thing I have to do. It's just like punch some guys for a little bit. It doesn't feel like a side game. It feels yeah. like a side story. Yeah. Like, or, or not even story, just like a real quick mission. Where, where, whereas the science things feel feel like side mission. Like 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 side, not story, but like I have to do something. Yeah. I have to go around and do something. Um, and most, most, mostly probably getting cancer. It's been a while since I played, but I, <laughs> but I think uh, if memory serves, some of the science missions will like change the time of day on you. Oh, interesting. But I might not be remembering that right. I'm interested though, just because because you've played a little bit more. I feel like I'm perpetually at night. Like I feel like I feel like I'm in like a two hour day and like 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 a like a that's twenty just, twenty two hour night. That's just because of where you're on the story. Okay. Okay. Because you have to go see Aunt May and it's nighttime. Like, so it's locked based on story. Things. Yeah. It's not on a 
clock. Mm-mm. Okay, okay. Well, it's completely like the story. When you that makes sense. when you finish the story, one of the science stations, and there there are a few of them. There are science stations that you can go to and change the time of day yourself. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, so far I'm liking it. Uh, story wise, not a lot's happened. Yeah. I'm I'm cleaning up Kingpin and thugs. The exact moment I'm at, if anyone wants to well, know, so you're not very far in at all. Uh, the exact moment I'm at is the first Miles mission. Yeah. Um. Uh, I, I just like rescued my mom, and like I have to do something else now. Um, as as Miles, um, I like. I, I, so I, have you gotten to the big important Miles plot point at the very beginning? Which one? Has that even happened yet? I don't. Okay, that hasn't happened yet. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay, so you're you're right at the beginning. It's just thirty five percent in. Yeah, that's because of all the stuff that you've that you've gone and done. Oh, that's. I thought that was just story. No, no, no. no. I thought the, it broke it down to like story. No, no, no. The, the, no, the percentage always means with most games I played. Um, oh, oh. I, th- I thought that was. I thought no, there the, was no, like the, a story. The percentage is how much. Yeah, you've just done that much side stuff. Oh, okay. You're not. I'm wasting time then. Yeah, you're not like halfway through the first act really. Like. Oh, okay. Well, it feels like that. Yeah. Because uh, I thought it was 35 percent through, and I'm like. People say it's an amazing story. I don't feel like a story started yet. You haven't even met the bad guy yet. Like you, no. haven't, you haven't done anything. No. Um, I like Mr. Negative. He's cool. Oh, I've, you, you I've, haven't done, gotten to Mr. Negative? I've gotten to see him. Okay. okay. Um, and, and obviously his goons are the ones taking over the Kingpin stuff. Um, and, and, and I teamed up with his dad. Uh, but like you don't know who he is yet or anything? I mean, I, I do. Oh, okay. Because okay. I know who Mr. Negative is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, he. That was a character I wasn't familiar with. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's a slot creation. Oh, okay. Um, that would be why. There's a bit where he makes Aunt May negative, and she's just like real mean to Peter for a little for a couple <laughs> of issues. Weird. Um, but so I like the Peter. Um, I'll say this, and this might be like me being like not a modern gamer. Almost no one looks good. Everyone looks like real uncanny valley to me. But I've also been told that it doesn't look like that if you're playing on 4K. Like oh, they're weird. designed for a four. Just to be seen in 4K, and apparently they look great in 4K. I'm watching on HD. Okay. Um, but they all look real rubbery and weird. And like every time I, see, like I really like that I'm Spider-Man because I don't have to yeah, look at human face. skin. Yeah. Uh, Peter's hair is weird. Like Norman Osborn's hair is weird. Uh, he's he's got like Tom Baker hair. Uh, I think it's weird as a comic book person. I think it's weird that I'm eight years into Spider-Man and I haven't faced. Either Doc Ock or Green Goblin, like those are the like I'm like oh you haven't been through anything you're eight years into being Spider Man you faced no challenge and he hasn't done Venom yet either uh yeah yeah like yeah I guess of his three kind of arch nemesis like, I know you don't think of, of, of Venom as an arch nemesis but I'm just thinking like well I don't think of him as foundational major, but I'm thinking of big major things that you usually have with Spider Man eight years you haven't done you haven't he done Venom he hasn't done name I I think they should have done one or the other. Like, I'm fine with Doc Ock not existing if Green Goblin does. I'm fine with Green, o- Green Goblin not existing if Doc... It's weird to me that both of them do, and it's even weirder that Miles exists before either of them. Um, that's weird to me. Um, but... It's I, not to me, because it's a modern thing that's popular. Like, we always do that kind of thing. Well, and that's... Th- think about well, it. Well, and that's we, what we do with Venom if, with everything. If you were the age you are now, meaning that you had uh, looked at the Venom stuff in the 80s, and you watched the 90s animated show, you've been like, it is so weird that we're doing Venom five episodes. Oh, I still have that kind of Oh, okay. okay. No, 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 I always think we introduced Venom like way too... Like, even Spectacular Spider-Man, I'm like, really, season one? I, okay. Um, like, I like Venom. I Like, I don't dislike Venom, but, like, I do think Sp- Venom should be a big deal later. Because th- this is part of the reason that, like, you had issues with Spider-Verse that I didn't. Like, I don't have that as much as you do with, with like, the... I don't want to say purist because that's not fair, but the almost purist like things are supposed to happen in a certain order. I agree with you that it is that it is weird that the the two big foundational villains that uh, inf- that, that that impact and influence uh, Peter Parker's like experience and personality and stuff haven't happened yet. But that's why that's weird. And like Gwen doesn't exist in this universe, I guess. Um, and, I, and I and I don't like that 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 Mary Jane is just um, no, I have. I really don't it's like just that. Lois Lane. She's just Lois Lane. What is this weird stereotype that like all superhero girlfriends have to be reporters? Why? Why is that? It's because so aside it's, from Lois Lane being foundational. So it's two things. Um, okay, it's three things because of that. Yes, of course. Uh, although she's not the first one we did it with, because because um, I'm pretty sure because uh, I'm pretty sure the spirit had it. She's. Uh, She's a doctor. She's like a police medical, at least based on the movie. I, I, I don't, 
I don't know in the comics. Okay. She 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 wasn't a reporter. There's somebody else that's a reporter that's like either before Phantoms? that or right around there. Is the Phantom's girlfriend a reporter? I don't know that. I, I don't know either. Any, anyway, yeah. I thought there was somebody else right around there, but I'm I'm just I'm not totally sure that you can credit Superman with it, but okay. I got, but I don't know. Obviously, that's the one that made it popular. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, no, the two big reasons besides archetype are a easy exposition, mm -hmm. easy way to get exposition, mm -hmm. and b uh, easy, in my opinion, somewhat cheap way. Uh, to get the girlfriend proactive and make her not seem like just a arm piece. That's what it feels like or, with Mary Jane. Or just a uh, damsel in distress. That's, yeah. that's, that's what, what it, it seems like, like with Jane. that. And I uh, like her game. personality through it, but um, see, see, you say Lois Lane, the more I played it, the more I thought uh, like later April. She's okay. very April O'Neil to me. It's the red hair, right? And just personality stuff. Like, like, yeah. if, like if you go look at what April's like, and I know that she's not a reporter in these things, but like so, like, reporter, but also just personality-wise, like, she reminds me a lot of 03 April, and she reminds me a lot of, uh, the... She looks like 03 April. Team and T 07 April. I didn't put that together. Like, I like I kept thinking, like, she looks like somebody. It, you're right, it's 03 April. Yeah. Um, so I don't love their Mary Jane so far, um, and I really didn't... I just don't like that choice. Play, I think she's okay, but just the, just the choice of being co-reporter is weird. Yeah. Um, but, uh... So you have what I do when those missions are boring. So far. Well, and, and like, even the Miles thing, I was like... I don't want to have to walk over there. I just want to be able to like press the button twice and be there. I have to like slowly shamble. Like I feel like a zombie now. Like 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 uh, parts of my senses have been taken away. Like I no longer can do the things I can do. Um, yeah, but people that play games a lot are gonna say, well, yes, of course, it's a different mechanic now. Yeah, but I'm playing this game play Spider Man. Yeah, but and and none of the Spider Man games I've ever played did that. And I'm not a modern gamer. Um, like, I'm, I can only come from the perspective that I, that I can come from. And, I mean, RPGs do this, too. Like, like there are plenty of Final Fantasy games where, for no reason, I cut over to different characters that have way less abilities than the characters. Like, I'm not unfamiliar with this, but I've never liked it. Right, when you say less abilities, like, it's it, now it's almost a different kind of game, right? Like, yeah. I don't like it either. I'm but just, I don't want to play that game. That that's the argument. Like, uh, that's fine. I don't want to yeah, play that game. But I think it's important for you to say that so okay. you don't get the comments. Okay, okay. Um, you know I don't I mean? want to play the game where I can't do anything and I just have to sneak around. Yeah, because it's, um, it's just a stealth thing. Like, that's the point of it. Yeah, and I, I, and, and it's like, not why I'm playing Spyram. You can be all artsy-fartsy about it, and, like, like I can give you good, like, story reasons for it and stuff. It but feels narrative, as a video or, game, or it feels either narratively needed, or, uh, like, we need to be this length, so we have to add padding in. But what I was going to say is also contrast, where, like, where, like you, you have uh, Spider-Man power and responsibility, mm -hmm. and then you have the people without power. Yeah. I, like, and narratively, then, it's fine, but gameplay-wise, I don't want to play those. And, like, I think I've already talked to you about some of this already, so I don't think I'm giving away anything that you don't know already, but, like... And then Miles is, like, a midpoint. I, I figured he would get his powers at some point, or at, or at the end. Um, so, I mean, you, you'll get there, but, yeah. like... But, like, they, they very clearly want you to play as Miles before he gets powers so that it'll be more impactful when he eventually inevitably does that. Yeah. I, I guess, I don't know, like, I feel like it would be more impactful to me if this was a story where Spider-Man lost his powers for a period of time and I had to play without spider powers. Like, I feel like that would be like, so you, but you then have, I would feel the loss of the powers. Yeah, but you have what I do. Well, for me, it's just more of a POV thing. Like, I don't know why I'm playing as different characters. Mm -hmm. I just, like, by the end, I get narratively, and I've argued with people about this, and I've already talked about this, but narratively, like, I, I get that, I don't know how else you would do that besides jumping over to some of those characters, but then I just wouldn't have told the story they told. Like, yeah. I just would have, I would have written a, a story with a single protagonist and done the Harry Potter thing. I like, feel like any argument anyone can make to me for those levels is, is narratively and thematically and has nothing to do with it as a video game. And I'm playing a video game, and I don't want to have to not be able to be Spider-Man in my Spider-Man video game. I, in the and game again, aspect, those two I things feel have to work in tandem. Yeah, yeah. Because unlike most narrative art forms, it has two goals. Yeah, I don't have a narrative problem with kind of, with 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 me playing as as, as Mary Jane. The, the, like I don't have, I don't have a problem with those Mary Jane scenes and what happens storyline wise. I have a problem with I'm playing Spider Man. Why aren't I being Spider Man? Um, because it's a video game. It's not a movie. It's not a TV show. It's not a comic book. And I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but the, the, the thing at the beginning that really rubbed me about it the wrong way was just, uh, it's... I, 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 the I flashbackiness of it? I think it's, it, it's, it's uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of the word I'm looking for. I, I, I think it's really clunky to, like, uh, jump back in a flashback and then play a scene that happened already. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so that's so, so far I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I, I I immediately was like, oh, uh, like I've had a thing that I haven't had in a very long time, which is I'm thinking about going back to playing a, a video game. Where like like I'm like, okay, so when I go home tonight after work, I like like I, I, I like I just want to go home and play this game, and I haven't had that in a very long time. Yeah. So like I'm really enjoying playing it. Um, so like 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 experience wise, it's it is really fun, and I feel like because I'm a couple of days out from playing it, uh, just because I was watching and reading a couple other a uh, couple other things for for the omnibus, uh, but like also I haven't had that super drive to go back to it yet because I'm in the middle of a miles level, and I know that when I go back to it, I have to finish that before I can go back to being Spider Man. Like, in my become... Spider Man game. <laughs> Are you being Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're you're just... uh, no, I'm not. I'm being a normal person. You're just hoping that like somebody else will go in and play it for you. So Sixty dollars, and I have to I have to be a normal person. <laughs> Sorry, no. You take off ten dollars immediately if I ever have to not be Spider Man. Really you failed as a video game. We're gonna, uh, but no, it's great. It's great. I'm gonna get complaints from people about this again, but I just wanted to. <laughs> I, I, Look, I'm not a gamer. Like I'm coming in completely from the outside. And I'm not a modern gamer. Well, uh, yeah, I guess and, that's what I'm not. Like, yeah. Like I have my I have my franchises, but. But I mean, I'm still more of a gamer than you. Like, but but I play a lot more like old school type stuff. Um, so I mean, like, I, I I still I do even even more modern type games than you do. But I suck at them. You know mm. what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm not good at them. Um, speaking of you, when when you get done with that, because you'll be in the mode of that kind of gameplay, you should go back to Arkham again. I might in the not too distant future. So I, and, and I've got the remasters. Oh cool. So you can play on your on your PS4. Oh cool. Um. And I'm sure everyone that knows me is 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 gonna show all of these examples from from the Metal Gear Solid franchise that breaks my arguments, but like that's a different situation for me. Cause I'm super invested in that universe and those stories, like yeah. it's a different thing. And those characters, like that's a different thing for me. Cause there are some weird things where it's just like, why well, those are stealth games to begin with? Like it's a different thing. But yeah. So no, I'm 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 loving playing. Yeah, because you have to jump between two the two different modes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in in this, yeah. but I'm sure folks will be interested to uh, know how you feel about the the uh, the story in that when you finally get yeah, you yeah. know the story. Um, I beat Shocker. That was fun. Yeah, because when I get on the first one, I was like, oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. I just had to chase him, but I get to fight him, and I, and I enjoy that. I love I love boss fights. I don't know if you have that, but like I detest boss. Oh, fights see, with see, a burning passion. See, because I'm a destination person. Like, to me, video games are an excuse to get to... Like, I play Mega Man to fight the, the bosses. I play Mega Man... The stages are the annoying thing I have to do to get to the boss fight. I just can't even... I love bosses. ...around that. I, I, I love I love that, that someone, like, did, like, boss rush modes. Like, like the one somebody came up with that idea, I'm like, yeah, I just only do bosses. Awesome. Yikes. Well, when, see, I got curious when you said destination person, because that's precisely my problem. The point is to get to the end of the level. And then I'm doing this other thing that is not that, and I'm not interested. No, I just want to get the wow, that really explains why you're not a Mario guy. Yes, it does. Because Mario has, has awful bosses. But like, not, I like love awful, but like, like I was always about the bosses. That's what I like about it. I was always spoiled when I got the bosses. I'm like, oh, I just jump over them. Like, I, I just touch that thing. Yeah, and thank over. God. <laughs> no, I want to fight. I want a platform. <laughs> and any way you slice it, it's always more impressive to watch a person play a level than to be the boss. Because with a lot of bosses, it's just about getting the timing right or knowing the. Um, the, the pattern or something mm -hmm. and like platforming just always looks cooler to me I have some games and bosses that that I, I like Sephiroth in, in Kingdom Hearts 2 like that's an amazing that's an amazing boss fight and like really difficult I mean there is a pattern to it I guess but like it's still hard yeah so I, I, I don't no know. I'm not saying it's hard it's not it, that, that kind of thing's not difficult part of my problem with it is often it's too difficult and I, and I can't get it <laughs> but I don't think it looks as impressive to show people I I, th I think it's a case by case. I think you might be mostly ro or or I, I it's like like I'm thinking of like Mega Man where like there are boss fights that can be super impressive, but that's because the bosses are really hard if you don't like use the item. So like if you beat a if you beat a robot master that's really hard with just your Mega Buster, that's insanely impressive because you didn't use the item that beats him. Yeah. But yeah. But you know I guess. Like I play platformers to get to the boss fights. I guess yeah, that's why I don't like. Boy, Warriors. that's such a foreign concept to me. I cannot get my mind around that. And Sonic's kind of a mid midpoint. Like Sonic doesn't have great bosses, but it has better boss bosses than Wario. And Sonic, I can just run through. That's what I like about Sonic. That's why. That's why I. I'm, I that's why I play through all the Sonic games, not the Mario's. I can just blaze through them. I don't have to deal with the levels. I just run. Yeah. This is a video game discussion. They still do. There still are platforms and things, but yeah. Well, anyway. Um, 
At some point, I will do a Donkey Kong Country run through because I've been working on that. Yeah. Um, Eric, let's go on now to fan art, and our first fan art comes from Robert Emmett, who says that this is one of his many drawings of Mr. Miracle. Like he just keeps drawing Mr. Miracle. And, oh, uh, that's really good. I guess he's just trying oh, wait, to make wait, it look wait. like that cover. Okay, so the left one is the cover. I was like, that's right. amazing! No, you, no, you no, of you course, look, it's the cover. But yeah, no, no that's, that, that's really good. Yeah. People love that series. I'd like to read that at some point. I have most of it. There's a couple of I told you my experience with that, right? Where like, I didn't yeah. read any of it, and I just yeah. looked at the last page. You looked at the last cried. page, and you, and you almost cried without context. <laughs> no, it was just the that's most beautiful ending I've ever seen. Amazing. I had to stop myself from going and looking at it. And then Colin Stroud made... This is the strangest choice. An animal, vegetable, mineral man custom figure. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And dinosaur. I guess it's animal. I guess that's. The I guess animal. that's the animal. animal. Yeah, that's not a character I'm familiar with. Is that a character? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But I. But I. I but I don't. I don't know. Oh, that. Oh, I'm not sure what it's from. An animal, vegetable, mineral man is a person. He's a, he didn't make that up. No, I don't think he made that up. Oh. I think I think that's a character. Oh, that's awesome. This is the guy that's been. Uh, I think this is the guy that's been doing the tick figures. I don't think that's a tick character, but. I should have looked it up. That uh, might be Venture Bros. Oh, you know what? Because Venture Bros has that ticky sensibility in some ways. Maybe it is. I just got that before you will we either started enjoy the show. Or so. test that show if you ever watch it. Yeah, I because it's so much your sensibilities. And Edlin works on it. I know, but I watched the pilot. And I couldn't get into it. We've that, had this conversation. That first season's kind We've of had this conversation. Uh, AJ Griffith did a Joker from uh, Return of the Joker. Yeah, that, that, that's my favorite anime Joker design. Because it's kind of halfway between. There's, there's his Batman. I like his style Ooh. a lot. I know. I really like that. I, I love, I love the lighting on that. He's doing, uh, yeah, he's doing like marker work. This one I can't tell if it's markers and crayon. Oh, I, I, I think some of that's uh, colored pencil. I'm pretty sure it's colored pencil. Colored pencil. Okay. Or, you know, why I say crayon now that you say that. But look at the uh, black at the top. That looks marker to me. But I'm not sure. But this yeah. is definitely marker. Yeah. But, but. You know, I say definitely. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's all. Co you know what? That I might all be pencil. colored pencil. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Because the green in the Joker's hair is definitely colored pencil. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think just the way the black is photographing, it's hard to tell. Well, but those are awesome. Yeah. And then uh, there is a uh, Spider-Man from, uh, I guess, Civil War from Malik. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, mostly his stuff comes in colored, but I guess that's one that he did black and white that he hasn't colored yet, but it looks great. It, it looks good with the shadow. Yeah, yeah. It looks really good in black and white. And he also did a uh, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle from the Telltale series. Oh, cool. Which is cool. Yeah. And then uh, this one is from Vince. Oh. Vince sent us fan art. Yep. Did he? And yes, he did, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Vince. I did, Vince gave me my Christmas present. Oh, did he? Yeah, he gave me the story. What'd Christmas you get? Uh, it's going to be on new acquisitions. On new acquisitions. Well, you have to stay tuned and find out. Uh, yeah, I, my favorite thing about Vince's three-second Captain Logan drawing is that I'm bald. I have no hair. <laughs> For Hats some are reason. hard to draw because they've got the they've got like the brim and it's hard to do that. Well, yeah, but he could have given me hair. He gave me a beard. That's true. Like I don't always wear a hat. That's true. Vince always used to wear a hat, but like I'm even on the camera, I'm not. I mean, I wear a hat outside, but like why just a hat? I don't know because it because it looks like he he meant to put a hat. Like usually you just don't draw the <laughs> like it looks like he meant to do a hat and he's like hats too hard. And then he gave me a beard and it's the only thing in color. Yeah. That's really funny. And, he's, uh, he's got a future ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, going places. I, I think I think he should probably maybe. You know, I mean, based on that design, he definitely has a career at Cartoon Network uh, design characters. 15, 20 minutes a day, I'd say, uh, is, is is about about what he should work on. What, what he should put into that. Uh, he'll be great in no time. Anyway, uh, you guys uh, will get to see Vince here in about a week. Uh, he and I had hoped to get the Punisher season two reviewed uh, for this omnibus, but um, although by the time we we uh, get this posted, it'll probably be pretty close, so it'll be around this omnibus, but it won't actually be in the sequence. So anyway, um, next week, early next week, uh, that should be up. And uh, that is going to do it for our intro. Um, as always, I just want to mention, uh, folks, we we uh, if, if you want to help us out on the channel, we do have a Patreon for just $2 a month. You can get access to Geek Evolution After Dark, which is uh, Eric and I twice a week talking about all kinds of random things that we don't usually talk about on the channel. Twice uh, a month. 
Not twice a week. Did I say twice a week? Is it twice a week? I mean, I mean we that's do a bit, that, that. That's a bit much. I mean, we do it a lot, and we shoot them in batches too. You know, we we just we stay up all night. We shoot like five. No, uh, twice a month. It is uh, it is biweekly. Excuse me. All right, or is or is that seven monthly biweekly is the same thing? Yes, indeed. And. Uh, we uh, we do an uncensored show, and uh, you can also, when I get back to it, get uh, early access to Superhero Rewind. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and we will see you again here in just a little bit with new acquisitions. If you're watching the playlist, just let it keep rolling, and uh, you'll get to see uh, lots more reviews and such. And uh, we've got a few fun, fun things that we bought recently to show you, so we're going to do that in uh, just a few minutes. So uh, keep watching, and we'll see you again next time. I'm Captain Logan. I'm Eric. See you later, folks.